RFQ stands for Request for Quotation, which is a free tool by Alibaba. Now, simply speaking, RFQ is your buying request and it will be sent to all the potential Alibaba suppliers. This enables you to receive 10 quotations from multiple suppliers in less than 24 hours. Now, instead of you spending hours and hours contacting different suppliers one by one, and sometimes they don't even reply to you, the RFQ tool turns the table and lets the suppliers come to you. I've been using this tool for the past four years and I personally think if you use it in the right way this can be a really powerful sourcing tool for you to find the right supplier. In the next few minutes I'm going to share with you where to find an RFQ, how to complete this form and finally I'll share with you my exact email template so you can copy and paste and use it for your own product. Now this tool is going to be very useful for everyone especially for private label sellers who are looking to develop or customize a new product because not all suppliers are willing to customize the exact product you're looking for but hopefully with this tool since you enter the exact specification of your product you make sure that the right suppliers will come to you finally don't worry about getting thousands of quotations or emails because hopefully Alibaba has a new policy that each RFQ can get only up to 10 quotations and each supplier can send a maximum of 30 quotations each month so you're not getting bombarded with emails so with Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so there are two ways to get to the RFQ page on Alibaba. The first way is to sign into your account and at the top of the page, click on my account. From there on the left side, you can click on buying leads, click on my RFQs and finally click on post an RFQ. The second way, which is much easier, is to just search rfq.alibaba.com and you'll get into this page. So as you can see, this is the main page and it gives you a brief overview of the RFQ process. First, you submit an RFQ and get multiple quotations. Next, you analyze them and identify suitable suppliers. And finally, you communicate with the right suppliers and develop a relationship with them. Now, let's click on submit RFQ and get to the main part of this video. On this page, you should enter the product name you're looking for. And based on the name, Alibaba gives you a few suggestions so you can select the right category and you can always change the category if you want. Under the sourcing type, you have different options, but most of you guys are looking for the customized product. Right next to that, you have a few options like customized logo, packaging, and some other options that you can choose a few or all of them. The next section is in regards to sourcing purposes and you can select retail. Here you need to enter your quantity. For now, let's go with 500 pieces. Here you need to start your trade terms. FOB means free on board, which means the supplier is going to deliver it on the ship if you are shipping with C freight. X works means the supplier does not have any obligation and you or your freight forwarder should pick the goods up from their factory and I don't recommend it. Now DDP is delivered duty paid and if you want your supplier to ship them to your country and pay for your customs and duty and you get your inventory right at your door like UPS or FedEx door to door services you should choose this one. Next you should enter your max budget and in most cases it's going to be from 1000 to 5000 US dollars. Here you can select your color material and other information. Here is the main part where you want to enter your request and you can use my exact template that I've been using for the past four years. So it's gonna be a start with something like dear and over here you just enter your supplier name. My name is enter your name and I'm the purchasing manager for over here you can enter your company name. We are a Canadian or American company with more than five years of experience in electronics, tools, fitness industry. Uh, here you should enter your industry name and we are interested in your enter your product name with the following details. So here you can enter the color you're looking for, the size or length. If you want a customized logo, you can mention it over here, customized packaging, product insert if you want um, your supplier to print product insert card or if you're looking for a specific material you can mention it over here you can also add 
any certifications or others and make sure to keep it short and simple then you're gonna continue with if you manufacture this product please send us more information and in your response include a picture of the product minimum order quantity the price at the moq or minimum order quantity and some other amount like 500 pieces a quick tip over here is that getting two prices for different quantities lets you know their flexibility on a price and it helps in the negotiations later on and finally you can ask what's the shipping cost of sending a sample we look forward to hearing back from you regards enter your name purchasing manager and enter your company name so here is a perfect email template that i've been using for the past four years and you can always feel free to copy and paste and use it from now on for your RFQs. Next, you can add pictures and attachments, and I highly recommend it because it helps a lot. It helps for clarification. You can select the supplier business type, like manufacturer, trading company, or both. Here, you can select the specific product certifications, like CE, ROHS, CCC, UL, and so on you can select business certifications like iso fsc and others you can select the test report like safety test and strength test and you can enter other requirements finally you can select your shipping method like air freight or sea freight your destination the name of your port lead time which is usually um, 14 days after the supplier receives the initial payment and finally you're going to select the payment method which is in the most of the times by tt so once you make sure that everything is entered correctly and you can always double check that you can click on submit and wait for the right suppliers to contact you and remember if you have a lot of quotations or if you have different rfqs you can always go to my rfqs and check the responses that you have received under my rfqs all right i hope you found this video helpful make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already now if you have any questions or any other things to add feel free to comment below make sure to watch my other videos over here i have a lot of videos about how to find a verified supplier on alibaba or how to pay your supplier over here so make sure to click on one of them right now as always thanks for watching and see you in the next video cheers